You guys, a friggin' leaf blower is coming back. Elon Musk said he was coming out with a silent leaf blower. I really hope he was not kidding. I'm buying one for all of my neighbors. All right, so in a recent video, I asked you guys if you would want to see a full video on the new Fenty Beauty bronzer, the lightest shade in the sun. And a lot of you guys said, let's do it. So I wanted to actually try this bronzer out before making this video. So I've used this about seven or eight times so far. I have my thoughts on it. We're going to be doing kind of comparisons to other lightest shades of bronzers, swatches. I'm going to be talking about the formula and also showing you guys how I apply it, how it goes on what I think of it, overall thoughts. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. sip time. You can join the Bayrito family and subscribe if you wanna. We can chill, it'll be good times. So this bronzer retails for $30. You get 0.22 ounces of product, which actually is not a lot for bronzer. That's on the smaller end of the spectrum. Just to give you a comparison here, the Hourglass bronzer has 0.39 ounces of product, so almost double. This L'Oreal one has 0.41 ounces of product. Again, double. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, 0.38. And Cover Effects, 0.35. The closest in price and ounces is the Hula Light, which has 0.28 ounces of product. So you actually don't get a whole lot of product in here for $30. Packaging wise, the outside definitely gets uh, a little fingerprinty and messy. I do like it though. I like the rose gold. I like the Whatever this is, it's not an octagon, it's the one with six. Oh wow, I should Google that. Hexagon, there it is. I would like to know I've only had a quarter of a cup of coffee so far today. I think the reason why people get really excited about Fenty launches, especially when it relates to base products, are because they're kind of known for being obviously more inclusive of a brand. So I think there's just almost like a little bit higher of a bar when they come out with a range like a bronzer or concealers or foundation, anything like that, because they're kind of known to usually hit every possible skin tone. This bronzer comes in eight shades. I have the lightest shade, which is called In the Sun, and it says fair with neutral undertones. So if you have fair skin, I'm sure you're aware of this, but finding bronzers that don't pull super warm and super orange is pretty difficult. Eight shades, while it doesn't sound like a lot, is actually more than what most brands do for bronzers. Typically brands will do three to like five shades of bronzer. So eight is a little bit more than usual. Just because it's Fenty, I kind of thought they were gonna come out with a few more shades, but compared to most brands, that is a few more shades than what brands typically come out with. The shade name, In the Sun, is like the same awkwardness as when you say my YouTube channel name, the Tayla. It's just awkward to say, don't ask me how I got my YouTube name, I literally don't know. It's awkward to say, so is In the Sun. So this bronzer and this shade, I feel like people are as curious about as when Benefit launched the Hoola Light Bronzer. I do have a whole video on this. Here they are next to each other. I'm gonna be swatching all these as well, but you can see that the Hula Light is definitely quite a bit lighter. So just to give you some overall kind of thoughts on the shade and stuff before we get into applying it and my thoughts on the formula and everything, two of my favorite bronzers at the moment and two of my favorites, if you have fair skin, you guys have to try these out. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100. This is a really unique shade. It almost looks like a face powder, the undertone, which, I'm like, why, why do more brands not do this? It gives you warmth, like it makes you look tan, but it's not orange at all. So I would say if you have fair skin and you struggle with finding something that doesn't make you look orange, but you wanna wear a bronzer, this is from the drugstore, try it out. It's such a great shade. And then one of my other go-tos, which I would say is definitely closer in shade to the Fenty one than that Maybelline one, is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in 01 Sunlight. And then one of my go-tos has always been the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, not in the lightest shade. The lightest shade looks orange on me. I get the shade Bronzer. Here's the shade that I normally use bronzer. This one is light bronze. Even though this one is lighter, the undertone of this one looks so much better on my skin and it pulls a lot less warm. It's more neutral. Another one of my current favorites is the Pure Bronzing Act. Such a beautiful, again, more neutral shade. This blends out so beautifully. It doesn't lift up the foundation underneath. It is just a beautiful, like, light chocolatey kind of color. Super soft. Love this one. Another drugstore option that is beautiful if you like more neutral, cool tone bronzers is L'Oreal Glam Bronze 01 Light Pale. They might have repackaged this. This was when it first launched, but I know they did bring this back to the drugstore. Thank God. I just kind of wanted to go through the ones I'm going to be swatching and explain 
what I think of them because a couple of these I am just including in the swatches because they're popular bronzers like this one. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. So this one isn't my favorite. This does pull a little bit too warm on my skin tone, but if I want that really warm look or if I feel like I look super ghostly or something, then I don't mind using this one. It's just not my favorite. And then this one by Cover FX, which is in the shade Sun Kissed, is really nice. This is one of my favorites. This also has more of a dry texture to it, like the Milani and like the Fenty. But here's it compared to the Maybelline City Bronzer. And then this Hourglass Bronzer is in the shade Diffuse Bronze Light. This one actually pulls a little bit warm on my skin tone. I still like it. I still use it, but it's definitely more of like a warmer bronzer when it's on my skin. So those are the 10 other bronzers that I'm gonna be swatching. Keep in mind that with bronzers, your skin undertone and the brush you use can make it look completely different. So this is just to give you like a general idea. And maybe you see one of the swatches in here that you really like, and if it's not the Fenty, then it might be another one. So I don't know, hopefully this is helpful. All right, so let's of course start off with the start of the show here, the Fenty bronzer in Indesun. Next up, we have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer, and then I'm gonna do the shade Bronzer, which is what I normally use. And then here we have the shade Bronzer. Next up, let's do Benefit Hula Light. Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100, which is one of my favorites. Milani Silky Matte in Sunlight, also one of my favorites. Pure Cosmetics Bronzing Act. This one smells so good. Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light. That one definitely has the most like red undertone so far. Just so we can get like an accurate depiction, I am gonna swatch the Fenty again right here because I did build that one up because you kind of have to build the Fenty up. It wasn't showing up if I didn't, but just so we can see what it looks like, kind of lighter application. So there it is swatched a little bit lighter. Here's Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. That actually looks pretty close to the Fenty one, I would say. Milk Chocolate Soleil. L'Oreal Glam Bronze in 01. That one is super cool toned. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. And then last one I'm gonna be swatching is Cover FX Sun Kissed. All right, so here's the bronzer lineup. So again, the first two are Fenty and you can see compared to everything else. I, I do think they could have gone a little bit lighter just looking at it next to some of these, but it looks pretty close to Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. All right, so now let's get into the application of the Fenty bronzer and you can hear kind of my thoughts on the formula and what I think of it. All right, so I have my base on and like half my eyes done right now, but we're gonna be doing the bronzer on my face so you guys can see how it goes on. I'm gonna be doing two different brushes on each side of my face just so we can see if there's a difference. When I've been applying this, I've been using the Flower Beauty bronzer brush, bronzer brush? or the BH Cosmetics number one brush. These are like two of my kind of go-to bronzer brushes, but I also wanted to try this one today, this is by Eco Tools. This is their Define. I just wanna see if there's any kind of difference in the shade. Sometimes the brush you use can make the shade look really different, just how much product goes on and how dense it is or how fluffy the brush is. So I just am curious, but I'm actually filming a foundation Friday today too on the new shade of the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation, which will be up before this video. So if you missed that, I'll link it in the eye and down below. So I would say, actually actually looks a little bit more neutral in the pan than it typically looks on my face. I do think that sometimes the undertone of the foundation you have can almost change the way a bronzer looks. I find that if I'm wearing a more pink toned foundation or yellow undertone one, it can almost change the way that it looks. So just keep in mind that if your undertone is completely different than mine, then it might look totally different on your skin. I find that to be especially true with the Physicians Formula Light Bronzer. This shade on me looks totally orange, but for a lot of people, this one works and doesn't look orange at all. So if you're like, what are you talking about? This looks like a total neutral bronzer. It could look like that on your skin and not on my skin. So the actual formula of this is a little bit dry. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the Milani bronzer, the formula of it. I don't mind that. If I like the shade and it blends out and it doesn't look patchy or anything, I don't mind a little bit more of like a dry, stiff formula. And I don't say dry in the sense that if you have dry skin, it's gonna like emphasize things, just the actual the way that it picks up on the brush is a little bit stiff. So let's go in first with the Flower Beauty bronzer brush on this side of my face. So let's go in here. So the way I like to apply my bronzer is almost like pat it on first so it doesn't lift up anything underneath. And then once the product is kind of on there, then I'll go in and do like back and forth kind of motions to blend. And as you can see, not a whole lot of product 
gets off the brush. I swirled that a few times. It's not going to pick up like a ton of product. It's not a super pigmented bronzer. I don't mind having to build up bronzers. I would way rather do that than have something that's like super pigmented and then I have to go in and blend it out with like powder over top or something. And it does build. So now I'm going in and just dip my brush in again. So personally, this is something that I've noticed every time I've applied this. I don't find it to be super not patchy. You can see that it's not like one of those bronzers that just blends out right away. I do feel like I lose some of the coverage on my cheek area when I apply this bronzer. At first I thought it was the brush I was using so I tried to switch up the brush. It's just one of those bronzers on my skin that does kind of pick up a little bit of the coverage. You can see my freckles and scarring coming through a little bit more now. So that's kind of a downside for me. I'm not like totally in love with the formula of this one or the shade. It doesn't look bad, like I don't mind wearing this bronzer, but it's just not one that I'm gonna be reaching for over some of my other bronzers. The shade I don't think is super neutral. I definitely have some warmth and like orange tones coming through. I do feel like I still need to kind of go over it and blend it out a bit on the edges, which I do that with most of my bronzers, but this one is just a little bit more patchy. And I have it on a powder foundation too, so it's definitely not like sticking onto anything right now. And like I said, I've tried this one for about seven or eight times now. So I am gonna bring this up to my forehead so we can see. And I do the same thing when I apply bronzer here. So you can see I swirled that, like my brush a few times in the bronzer, and it's definitely a light wash of color. Some people will like that, some people will probably not like that and want their bronzers to be more pigmented. All right, so let's try the Eco Tools brush. I'm gonna do the same kind of amount right here. I don't know why I tapped it. You don't need to tap it because like I said, it's a very stiff formula. No powder comes up when you put your brush in. Let's see if this brush makes any kind of difference. If anything, I'm thinking we're gonna get less color on this side because this is more of like a flimsy brush. I'm gonna swirl some more, build it up. Okay, so I can almost not see it on this side. Brushes do make a difference. I'm going in for a third time to build it up right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch back over to my BH Cosmetics. This one is bigger and it is dense, but it still gives you that like nice blend and wash of color. It's not too, too intense. Okay, so that was one time. Go in and build it up. Here's with that brush, here's with the Flower Beauty brush. The main thing for me that I'm not a fan of with this is just that I do feel like it lifts up the product on my face and I also just don't like kind of like the patchiness. This one's just not my favorite. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then we'll be, blah, 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 and then we will be back to debrief. All right, so the rest of my makeup is on. If you've tried this one, let me know what you think down below. Hopefully in this video, if you decide not to get the Fenty one, you can find some other affordable options or some other bronzers that might work for your skin tone. So personally, I wouldn't spend 30 bucks on this when there are other affordable options, but that's just me. Like with every brand, there are stuff that are winners and there's stuff that are not. And we all have different preferences and makeup, so you might love this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the new lightest shade of the Fenty bronzer. If you did, you can give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I'm actually gonna be in London when you guys are seeing this video, so if you wanna follow along on Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube name. I'll pop it in right here. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.